Black tell me Ranger. later. Tell me later. Or just tell oh, me Here you go. It's Batman City of Madness. Oh, hell that's yeah, right, chat. You. It's Batman City of Madness. That's where the, we're taking it place today. That's where the game's taking place today. Bite me. I'll kill you. Remember, guys, March 16th for the Batman we undo. Motherfucker. The Batman. Sean, I will end your life personally. You listen here. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, continue to listen. Do mm. our intros. Well, what? there's Why? of I... the porch in. I am your host, Prosandrex V2. I am the DM, and I'm joined by a lovely cast of goblins and goblinoids and goblinettes. Uh, we're going to start with Punk! Hello, my name is Punk, your dog. I play Tabayama Nico. Do I pick who goes next or you? You do. Chinui. Chinui! <laughs> Oh. Just, just add it. Just add it to the. Just add it to the list. Oh, punk! You have just invoked a curse <laughs> upon this house. <laughs> Chinui. <laughs> oh no! I'm a cop. Like, but Chinny. I know what it is. <laughs> but Steals now you curse him because now I'm gonna come home and I'll be like, "What's up, Chinui?" <laughs> You're gonna have to like put bunny ears on his chin. No. Who no, is you will not. Me? You will not have to do that. Oh, I'm back. Oh, Mando, you're close. I'm sorry, am I too close to the mic? No. No, no. You're good. Uh, you didn't sorry. finish the sequence of events. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I see. Anyway, uh, I am the internet's own Jake. Uh, I'm going to be playing Jeffrey Blake this evening. I uh, hate Tart. Suffer. Hey, what's up? It's me, Tart, your boy, your favorite dog. That isn't Bromad the Nomad. Uh, hi, I play Oma Tetsuhiko. I play a lesbian. Happy Pride Month. Women. Women! Let's go! Uh, Nero. Hello, it is I, Nero Napier. I play C.O.A. Akio, the supervillain Red Death. Uh, Amanda. Uh, hello. I'm Feng John Adams, patron state of bisexual panic. Men and women. Uh, fucking... Rat hey, yo! I gotta re-release the Pride merch, you're so right. Hey, what's up? My name's Rabbit. I am a writer. Uh, wrote a lot of stuff for Tart and Sean. Uh, you can find me on Twitch.tv slash uh, his Rabbit. And uh, I will be playing uh, Sally Graves, who is a bioweapon. Lover of candy, sweet things, and cinema roll. Loves the things that are cute. Hates the things that are not cute. That oh. and <laughs> Well, mission in life to make all things cute. And maybe become the Sanrio hero. <laughs> maybe that'll be what I write for Sally's, like, happy ending. She just becomes, like, the hero hired by Sa by legally saying Sanrio. San Royal. <laughs> That would be so cute, actually. I might do that. Well, wait, I got it. Since it's Howdy Cat, it's San Rodeo. Oh, true. San Rodeo. Yeah, you know, Howdy Cat. You tell me that would not be so cute. That would be perfect. Okay. <coughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to post that gif. Uh, Tart, you have to give us a good old, a good old JC Doodle. Alright, let me, let me back up real quick. Hey, what the fuck is up? It's me, the JC Doodle, coming to you from the baseball, hey! Disco Jones. Here, Tart, I'll, I'll counter it with that one. What? I'll counter your gift with uh, this one. <laughs> I love that video. <laughs> the water is too spicy. <laughs> I I dink my oop. I dink my oyster. All right, so 
for an instant nat 20, who wants to... Who wants to recap? Last time! The Bearers of the Torch. Fuck you, I'm doing it. I got you. I'll take a free nat 20. Yeah, I got the free we nat 20 last time. We stayed the night turn. at a hotel. During the course of the night, we reflected on the nature of our lives and the triumphs and tribulations of being hero students and the trauma we've endured and how we've come stronger, better people because of it. Then we decided that we should make our way to London to go look for more de details. And so we bought train tickets. That is where we left off with tickets to go on a train. I eviscerated a ant with a chopstick. <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. Yeah. So, you, uh, is that all you got? No information of anything pertinent or important? I mean, Jeff got information about pertinent and, about pertinent and important things. The only wasn't really paying attention. I was having him fair all right well that's who we're gonna start off with uh mr mr jafari yes the jafari safari start us off you were being forced onto a train and your phone got some special fancy boy information yes some fancy boy information and also i wasn't forced onto a train how dare you okay a train was run on you then deal with it uh, moving on no. Anyway. So we've got... Uh, set, set the scene further for me. Are we actually in the train car at this point? Yeah, you would be on the train car okay. heading towards Jolly Old London. Alright, um, first order of business is... I actually want to see if I can look something up before we get things, uh, get too far into things. I want to do a search on the name Senator, Ma Senator Gloria McSaint. I have to check my own documents on that. <clears throat> what are you looking for specifically? Uh, I believe I posed the question to you in DMs previously, but I'm assuming that they are a member of the United States Senate? I believe so. I just wanted to clarify that they were that they were not a member of Parliament, of British Parliament. Uh, you did not ask me this in DMs. But I most certainly did. I'm looking at our last correspondence, my friend. Mm. No, I asked Chaz, and he told me to ask you. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why I and associated. And then you never did. Ah, uh, welcome to ADHD, friends. <laughs> All right. So yeah, um, looking up. Obviously, want to search. Find out what information I can on. Uh, Senator McSaint seeing potentially what what a just a general uh, online search for their name gets me. Yeah, so not much comes up. Uh, you get a little bit of like you know their senator the senatorial duties. I'm trying to get my information of which location they were from. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, hold on. Me, while I look for this... Stop uh, laughing. While I look for this, we gotta fucking see uh, some other things. So talk to people while I look around for this, because this is very funny, actually. Alright. So... Jeff's going to make sure that he's got everyone's 
everyone's relative attention uh, as we're... Is this an open train car, clarifying real quick? Yes, or is this a... it's an open train car. All right. How how many other people are we riding with this uh, I this early morning? About seven. All right. So I'm not saying a damn word of it. I'm not saying a damn word of this aloud then. Uh, but I will I will say it aloud for the benefits of chat and everyone else. Uh, hey, Jeff. Dictating what he's. You know hmm. what we can do. Yeah. We can speak Japanese. Got a point. That's true. However, also <laughs> she is so right, dude. It is that is true. Nihongo <laughs> des. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Hi, Jess son. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yamate kuda stop. <laughs> Everything hey. will be Daijobu okay. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Konichi, what's up, Jeff? <laughs> Jeffrey, um, it is a member of parliament, is McSaint. Okay, so this is, so McSaint was a member of parliament. Yeah. Um, what part of the, what part of the UK were they from? Were they from England proper? England proper. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they were, they were proper English, in it? In proper, it. Um, proper English. Proper English. Um. So clarifying that the, everything that follows is going to be in Japanese. Yeah, um, that, that's fine. Jeff is going to recount the information provided in the, um, uh, provided in the document. Mm, nice. And uh, probably about the first four. Oh. Probably about the first uh, paragraph, he is going to want to make an insight check on the other members of the car, the other members in the car, not our party, that are not a part of the party, okay. to see if uh, they, to sort of see if they're listening in or not. Right. So you, uh, you have people not... Uh, they're not listening in. They really don't give a shit. A few of them are just, like, students. Mm-hmm. And some, some parents. Okay. So, no, they are paying you no mind. Hey, Jeff. Holy yeah? Shit, they're speaking Japanese. You, uh... <laughs> you bought the, the foreigners. Ticket. Why didn't we just get a private car? Sally bought the tickets. I was along for the ride because I was... I was reading through, you know, all of this. Blaming Sally. In classy ja of in, ja in Japanese, Sally will lean over, uh, smile, and tell Sioi, if you ride in a car of other people, it's less conspicuous. That's what I was thinking. That's what, Ma that's, what Mama <laughs> Lola told that's what Mama Lola told me. Hide in plain sight, baby. Sioi openly vaping on the train. That's a they, good point, Sam. Do they good. even do they even have private cars in here in London? Public transit, yes. probably. Not. Yeah. Well, um, you should, also, you shouldn't press on the black card so much. I think anyway. Can't okay, wait for the, the. Oh, we don't lock your car around here, in it. One of the conductors will walk up. And they, Speak um, British, in it. Excuse me. Um, please, no smoking on the train. Um. Almost uh, it, Sioi is going to reach into his wallet and pull out a card. I'm sorry, it's medicinal. And he is going to hand the therapy card that he has for occasions like this. It's true. Medicinal. We have a car for smoking. Just not in this car, please. Oh, okay. Well, which car would that be? It'd be through that back door and then two cars down. Wonderful. And Sio is just going to look at the group and go, I'll be back. Apologies. Well, we'll go with Sio. Oh, come Dude. on. Let me run into some road men on my own. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not in public, Sio. <laughs> Oi, bro. It's just the scene from JoJo's part one on Ogre Street. <laughs> 
bro, almost gonna leave <laughs> Yoy alone on this train for ten minutes. It's gonna turn into Spy Family Code White. All right. <laughs> I need to. I need to watch Still that movie. God damn it! It's real good. The Recommend big... it. I almost saw it twice. Pretty the good. big dude leaves the group of girls and the one other guy. <laughs> Here come the chefs. <laughs> Oi, ladies, what's up? <laughs> This American giving y'all trouble? <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> What's all this then? <laughs> Fang, Fang fucking looming over them. Can I help you, Desu? <laughs> it really hopes Suyo doesn't get in trouble. Anyway. Anyway! There's a couple of sites that we'll probably want to probably want to hit up once we once we hit London. Okay. Um, I mentioned one of them to you before we hit up the train. Uh, Sally, that North Bridge apartment complex. Yeah, I want to check that out too. If there's any if there's anything there that I can utilize. That's It'll be the best. That's one potential area, but um The other ones are going to be harder to get into with the, uh, depending on how, depending on the, uh, precise locations of where things went down. Um, I can say we're probably not going to try to get into Parliament's mailroom. I'm not confident in us maintaining a low profile in chasing such a, in chasing a high security location like that. <laughs> you think Suyoi gives a shit? I am going to make sure that Suyoi gives a shit. Sorry. I felt, felt the need to respond to somebody. I, I swear God was mocking me there for a second. <laughs> it's been stressful. Meanwhile, Suyoi arrives <laughs> me walking into a fucking car full of roadmen going, ah, yes, I'm home. It's been stressful since the, uh, since the since the start of school two years ago, yeah, it has been. Anyway, imagine well, they, yeah, Im imagine being stressed. <laughs> Fang, just because you can shut, just because you can shut off your emotions to hide the fact that you are, doesn't mean you don't experience it. Shut off emotions? Who can do that? Sally yeah. raises her hand. Don't you know snakes don't have those? Snakes can't feel love. I'm not acknowledging this in game. I'm not acknowledging this in game. Fuck you, John. You have permission. I have permission to what? You have permission to kill him. Oh. Sorry, okay. Togo. Turns out, never felt a thing. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, yeah. so, so suddenly, <laughs> Feng, is, Feng is now ten times sadder. So, so par, so Parliament, so Parliament mail room. That's that. Okay, that's all. That's out of the question unless we pull some. We pull some weird shit. Um, well, but if we maybe. can find, if we can track down particularly where some of the vehicles were attacked those would be other those would be other secondary locations that we could hit up those what would be they... third priority if uh, we can we could we could probably requisition those locations from probably uh, from probably the police station or whatnot if we go ahead and i can't remember are we supposed to stay discreet about picking up discretion the is discretion is the better the name of the game i think hey okay you know, i have a suggestion Fang yeah. says, gently raising her hand. What's that? You know we're supposed to be completely incognito. Why don't we just do what other students do and find some tours? Go to a library. That is... Lab... That was Tart. <laughs> on if only Fang I is saying this in Americanized Japanese. <laughs> oh, if only I had some of this guy's Blood. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not shit. Be blood, Crookies, you say. 
Why? <coughs> not supposed to. We're not. He's not even supposed to be here. We're supposed to find out information. We we can't. We have no jurisdiction in London, even if we did find him. If I could find any, if I could find any trace, I can kind of track them. If they're at least a thousand feet of me. Track who? This, this fella. Earshift. If, yeah, and if I could, and if I could go ahead, and if I could go ahead, and find that, not engage, just know he, just know he's somewhere close by. That'd be all the evidence that we need. I mean, like I said, he's not even supposed to be in London. We're just supposed to find information about what happened here. So if he pops up, then it's a problem. But I don't... You should look towards where Oma went, since Oma has more information than she does. Oma has followed Yoi. <laughs> At least well, according to Oma. She says pointing in the direction she walked. How well, far behind? With that... oh, no, no, keep going, Rabbit. All right, well, with that being said, and then let's go ahead and stick with sure shots, then. Those apartments, sure shot. We'll go there. Mail room is a mail room could be a secondary priority later, but that's that's what involves one of us potentially slipping out from one of those tours. Um, I asked and this we need... question. Oma, how far behind did you trail Suyoi? Like, how much of a birth time wise did you give him? Yeah, I figured. She would have been like walking with him. Mm. Above game, I know what he's planning. If that's if that's the case, I'm willing to say she wasn't for the sake of it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I I will have to be honest. In this situation, I feel like she would be walking next to him. <laughs> but I know what the plan is. <laughs> um, as you guys are on the train though, right? You see billboards. And they're they're just flying by pretty fast, but they're pretty flashy. Sally's I, gonna take is Sally's gonna take a look at them. She's never really been in London. Jeff's probably too focused on scanning the dock for details. Just blonde hair, pink winter cap. Ice climber fit. So a big one is a like an internet provider called ADNet Ret. And it seems huh. like the company behind them also has, like, a pharmaceuticals. So it's internet and pharmaceutical stuff? Yeah. Huh. Sally will uh, nudge uh, Jeff's uh, Jeff's shoulder. Do you, think, or do you think we hook up the public Wi-Fi? That's what we use? And then this would be the pharmaceuticals. Hmm. If only I was there or paying attention. Uh, which one? Sorry, I'm looking looking things up here. Um. Oh, that's another what, one. What provider? That one. Eighty Netret. I've been using my cellular data and a VPN, so I I trust nothing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be entirely of honest with you, Shelly. I don't trust. Man. I don't <laughs> trust public Wi-Fi. I can't, I can't believe one too. I can't believe Jeff is using Nord VPN. 
Excuse you, it's Dane VPN. Fuck Bjorn you. VPN. Bjorn VPN. God Bjorn, I love that. Huh. I guess that's something to look up. Uh, we'll add it to the list then. <clears throat> oh no, this is just so this is just something to do. This is just something to do on the train. But yeah, I can write those down. Why not. Here, I'll write them down right now. Yeah. Um. Grabs, grabs tiny book scribbles. So that's an internet provider here in the UK. Lovely. Yeah. Here, let me look up stuff about it. I will look up 80 net right on my phone. It's a lot of ads about like the fastest internet speed. You know, two thousand up, two thousand down. Like it's pretty insane. Fiber optics. Switch your carrier to this deal and get a new package. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, exactly. Where are they headquartered at? Out of curiosity. Lund Inn. Are they new? Uh, within the last like seven years. Looks like it's newer. Most of these internet services are well established. From mom and dad and uncle told me. Um, uh, there is an article. Google Fiber. Yeah, there is an article you see that actually does catch your eye, Sally. That uh, ADNet actually broke the monopoly of uh, internet and phone and cellular services in the UK. And have been dominating the market, actually, since their inception. Oh, wow. Check this out. They're new. Uh, they're new, and they broke up the entire monopoly. And apparently... Broke you know, up or replaced? It looks like they're the top runners right now. So they're gunning for the same spot that the old providers held. Yeah, that tracks. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm seeming a little cynical, but I... She just she just tilt she just tilts her head. Why do you think so? I lived in a I've I grew up in America. I saw companies exploiting people all the time and exploiting their uh market shares um for their for profit gain. I I sincerely doubt that any company breaks up a monopoly for the benefit of the consumer alone. They do it to try to either replace... They do it usually with the long-term game of trying to replace them. Capitalistic hailscape. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Dad told me a lot of stories about that, too. Yeah. I'm... I guess so. I wonder what the other one's about. What I write down in this book. DNA... E.T. Wait. R.T. Sally. Yeah? How do you spell detonarot? <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, that's, uh... That's easy. Uh, that's D-E-T-N-E-R-E-T. -E How many of those letters are in those company names and those company websites? Same of the letters, but you can't own a letter. I'm... Once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, and three times is a pattern. Sorry, I'm operating by that logic right now, and that's really far-fetched, but goddamn. Mama Lola used to call them silly leads. Red herrings? Yeah. Oh, red herrings! So that's what those were. Yeah, let me see what's going on. Let me see what's going on with this one. So I will look up stuff about DNA ETRT. You see that they are the company that are currently in charge of the 
quirk drug that has been very popular lately. Quirk for a day type drugs. Huh. You know, call me, sh you know, call me sheltered with, you know, everything, but, um, do you know anything about these quirk for a day thing about Jiggies? The only, the only, uh, frame that I'm familiar with anyone getting any sort of quirk for any amount of time in is someone we don't, we don't mention his name in public. Could it be possible? I I would not doubt it. Work for a day stuff. What? She's going to go ahead and press her phone and just look more into that. What are these things about? So, <clears throat> you can see they come in two forms, in pill and syringe. Syringe form is far more potent. You get far more uh, bang for your buck. And it lasts for a total 24 hours. The pills last 12. Hmm. And it's synthesized versions of fan favorite heroes, such as uh, Ingenium or Todoroki. Or oh, could you type Endeavor. out some of these names to me? Yeah. Okay. Chinui on it. Hey, Chinui's on it. Uh, I'm on something different that is. Never mind. Then. Okay. But yes, I will. I will. In I. I. Yeah. She'll uh, sh uh, she'll scoot over to uh, Jake and kind of just drag a sleeve Who? to uh, <laughs> uh, Blake. I did it again. Uh, <laughs> Sally, will, uh, Skelly, uh, 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 Sally will go ahead and just uh, scoot over to uh, Jake a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <like, laughs> right. Scoot right. over twice in a row. Uh -oh. We got it, boy. Uh, Sally will go ahead and just kind of scoot uh, a little bit more to uh, uh, to Jeff. There you go, and um, just. Tug his sleeve to just pull him down closer to her phone. Mm. Uh, not to say anything about anything. Did it look like these? There's <laughs> a lot in here. There's. Wow, there's some of the people that Uncle Deku talked about. Like Todoroki, Eugenium. Forward that to me. Whoever, do you know of an endeavor? Yeah, yeah, I he, do. Uh, he was here. Let me, here, he let was me one of this. he was one of Japan's old number ones. Oh, okay, okay. Flame quirk, really potentially destructive. Okay, here, let me send this page off to you then. Uh, yeah, upon yeah, receiving it, uh, Jeff is going to forward that to Suyoi with the question, "Hey, did you and your did you and your underground crew ever run into these, or anything that worked like this?" And he'll await a response. Meanwhile, hey, put me the, on the spot here. The meanwhile, yeah. in the smoking car, there are a pile of bodies yeah. and Suyoi sitting on top of them. Man, Oma. You know, I warned him. He was asking for directions. Nah, that didn't sound like asking for directions to me. Oh, Jeff texted me. Oh, never good when Jeff texts me. <laughs> why can't he, why is he only send me bad things? Why can't he send me cat pictures? Sioy is, is going to, uh... That's Sally's job. Uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff is going to get a response back from, seen a lot of drugs. These could have been. We dealt with a lot of trigger. 
Okay. The sound because... face will show a bit of concern. So you, you want to roll me a history check? Sure, I will. I'd love to. Give me my sheet! It's the daytime. That's the wrong sheet! Right. Uh, flat. Advantage, disadvantage. What do you want? Flat. Uh, 12. You've seen a lot of sh a trigger. Even Shin Devil trigger. Even Dongle Finger. And this is none of those. Mm -hmm. Nope. Not anything we ran into. We ran into a lot of variants of triggers. So you might text us back. This is new. Followed by a, I'll look into it when we get home. <laughs> so you really said, not my country, not my problem. Sally's face will just show a little bit of uh, concern. Just thought it'd be something fun to look up to just pass the time, but. So I'm, again, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not great for conversation now. My brain's on, on the mission. It's it's kind of hard to get me off that single track from sometimes. That's what Nico's <laughs> there for. You know, you kind of sound like Uncle Lincoln when you say that. He's the same way. <sighs> Speaking of, Nico, what are you doing? Hmm. I haven't really thought about it. I mean, is she in the car? Or... Yeah, she'd be in the train car with everyone else. Unless you went with uh, Suyoi to go beat up roadmen in the smoking car. I don't Shouldn't think you... have said that rude thing about Oma. You'd have kept your teeth. I don't think he took her with, her, with him. He's probably just like half listening to music. Sitting with Kaede in the baby Bjorn baby thing resting her phone on it like half helping them I guess because they seem like they're kind of, like they've got the search but like she's kind of chilling seeing if they need her help fair <clears throat> Nika you would see like you know Sally trying to hold a conversation with Jeff who is nose deep in his phone for all you know he's being rude for all you know. Sally just has kind of a worried look as she just keeps looking at the phone and then just puts her phone away in her coat. So Sally looks worried. How's Jeff looking again, looking at his phone? He's no Z Pensive, phone, I think. Like... like pensive would be the word. His mind is his mind is running. A hundred miles an hour right now. She kind of just, Nico just kind of like scratches her brows and like tickles her nose a bit like, is something wrong? Do we not have a place to stay for the night? Or I thought. No, we, sh no, we have a plan drawn up, I think. Hey, are you okay? Mm -hmm. I think, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking far ahead, uh, farther ahead. Um, than just, you know, where we're staying and stuff like that. You... What, it, what is it you call me? Boy Scout? Yes, sometimes. Yeah, that's... Probably that's. That's one of them. We're, we're in Boy Scout mode right now. Probably over-preparing. But I. <laughs> Nico just shrugs. Eh. If it keeps my head from getting cracked in again, prep, prep away. Measure twice, that's what they say. And she just kind of like rests her cheek on her fist. Which one of us is best at um, potentially being unnoticed for periods of time? 
Wait a second. Your quirk. Can you do anything with chameleons, Nico? I haven't really thought about it, but you know what? Uh, octopo octopodes can change color and texture. It's probably already in my stuff. Let me try! Is that just a quirk check, Sean? And that would be a quirk check, but I will say disadvantage. Oh, shit, I need to see what I got. It's disadvantage because you've never tried this before. Normally, you just go full tentacle. 15? Uh, you do it a little bit. You do it pretty color well, change. but like, yeah, you, you shift your color. Wow, look at that. I'm, wait, hold on, I got something for this. Um, also, it's Jeff would know uh, above game that Oma's, uh, does have built-in cloaking attack. I think our play might... I think I'm I'm coming up with something for if uh, Northbridge doesn't pan out for what we need. It's probably going to invo involve either you or you, Oma, or a combination of you two potentially finding out about that mail room. means I think it'll be up to m me and me, Sally, Fung, and uh, Sunyoi to potentially be a distraction. You could just sit there light green. <laughs> nice. It's green now. Was it easy being green? I'm trying to find a way to show you this. That's a real cool Shuppets reference. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Jeff, with that she's... with that one frog, Kerman. Jeff, she's from Conan. Japan. I don't, I don't think she gets that joke. I got it, and that's that's part of what's important. I love the Shmuppets. I love it half work. Not... Punk dropping hex color <laughs> code in our hex chat. Code. <laughs> Amazing. I just, I had a thing. See, I had an art resource in a step tucked away in a file, and I just remembered it because I was like, you know what? That actually pulls up a random color whenever you pull up the damn page. Here. Ah, I was I like, was... this works. Sorry. <laughs> I always right, that's liked. That's the first thing that popped up. I always liked Madam Biggie. Madam <laughs> Biggie. You heard me. <laughs> you go to scrunch his face. I look like an arcade floor. Well, then stop doing it, forehead. Can't you do it again without me rolling again? <laughs> yeah, go for it. I'd say around this time, Sioi and uh, Oma will return to the group. That's okay with I'm you telling turn. you, he was just asking for direction. And then I'm when, telling you, yeah. I saw And him then right. when he <laughs> turned to me, he said, please, God, help hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> She and I saw like, a knife. And then she just turns her hair burgundy. That was your knife. Stabbing him. I did no such thing. He brought that knife to a me fight. He should have known better. Did you One do that knife. now? One knife is not enough to keep away Suyoi. Enough? It was oh. Suyoi's knife! It's not no, enough to keep him away. It's not my knife. Tell me. Please tell me. There. <coughs> Sally, <coughs> Sally, stand, Sally stands up and holds up, uh, holds up a hand. I swear to God, Sio, if you stab somebody in that car, I will turn off your I will turn off your anger. Please tell me we're almost there. I, I did not stab anyone. You got I it. won a power struggle in an assault. Just now. You were the one assaulting him. I was assaulted. It was me. I am the victim. I mean, just because. Okay, look. So you, we can't leave a trail of bodies. We're trying not to be noticed. Listen, the UK is one of the biggest like knife stabbing places in the fucking world. I believe. All right, but in. it sounds like a car was on fire. How many of those happened no. in the UK? 
I, I mean, didn't set nothing was set on fire. Someone, someone said something light fire. Stabbing. Light. Did you get a license for it at least? Yes. Inside. Roll me. I just don't roll know me if deception. My license... I'll roll you a deception, okay? <laughs> oh wait, that's you. Seven. That is what? me. <laughs> we both, we both All rolled, right. we both rolled elevens, but mine is higher than yours. Mine's Fuck a seven you. as opposed to your six. But uh, Sally knows the truth. <laughs> no, if you need to do seven, that means mine's higher. Mine's a smaller number. Twenty-two. What is the truth, Sean? He did not have a license for UK stabberating. Maybe my license isn't international. I okay, you just lost your anger privileges. I'm not, <laughs> <angry>. <laughs> See, I just, I'm not even angry right now. Of course you're not. I shut down the function that does that. Sit. Uh, <laughs> Fang will put her... Fang will put her pat gently pat Seoy on the shoulder. I believe you, buddy. <laughs> she now says covering for his lie. <laughs> Just, uh, just Sally looking cross. Now hold my hand. <laughs> See, I just sits down next to Fang and just passes the fuck out. Just. That's okay, buddy. It's cold and I hate it's it. Fuck... <laughs> I... She looks through her hand. I just removed his ability to be angry. I didn't remove his consciousness. No, no th he does that, Slemby. It's better this way. It is better this way. Oh, okay. But Fang just puts her arm around sometimes. his. Fang just puts her arm around his shoulder and gently pats the side of his head as he leans on. <sighs> Leave him be. It's cold and I hate it here. Yeah. Do you think it is we gross? Jeff, do you think we should be worried about those things we looked up? At a time later. Okay, the mission first. You got it. If they if they enter into the mission at that point, then we start to worry about them. Yeah, right. It's probably nothing. Okay, Sal's. Let's go. Okay. The apartments first. I'll excel there. Actually, do we just want to get a hotel room first? You know to. Drop our shit off. Yeah, that's problem. That's You're right. uh, part of setup for boots on the ground. You once, got it. Once we're once we've taken care of that, then we find Northbridge Apartments, and if we don't find anything there, that's when, and this is where you you're gonna come in potentially, Oma. We may have to try to infiltrate Parliament. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that from Private Killjoy. <laughs> oh! Already, huh? Private I thought we'd Killjoy. be here, like, I don't know, at least a few days before we start breaking into government buildings, but fair enough. <laughs> we can pat, we can make bar, sure man. that there are several yeah. days between... We can try to make sure that there are several days in between the search, but I... Fang looks up yeah. at Oma. I suggested looking through the libraries first <laughs> and we can still do that it's less conspicuous before breaking into government buildings i mean i'm not against the idea necessarily i'm just surprised look at gi healthy... joe over here call it a healthy gi jeff gi <laughs> jeff yeah call it a healthy e distrust e of the irons his boxers i knew gi jeff I knew this is... Do you iron your boxers, Jeff? <laughs> no, I don't. How do you know? She gives him an incredulous look, like, I'm not sure <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Dude. Jeff, roll, Jeff will roll persuasion. As he, as he just, he just full-on deadpan stares at Fang. Does this look like the face of a person who would lie to you? Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Bang, I am too... I am too... scatterbrained to try to lie to you. Sweetie, you're the most straightest lacing boy I know. Sa <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Sally, look, Sally looks at Jeff and just wiggles her hand like... Eh. I don't There's know yet. And I, I be want told... It. And I want I... it stated. It's not a bad thing. It's good yeah. to iron your britches. Yeah, pants, yes. Pants, yes. Boxers, no. S Sally just leans over to Fang. Do men iron their boxers? I mean, I've known a few who do. This one probably starches its socks, though. That's so weird. Why would you starch socks? Mm. That's a mystery. Some delicates need extra care. I guess so. Wow, you learn something new about Jeff every day. <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. All right, so we'll go ahead and find. So we'll go ahead and find a place to hole up, and then we'll go ahead and get, head and start looking in earnest. Yep. Okay. Jeff, you know I'm flipping your shit, right? If I didn't, I wouldn't play along. Bless you. See, he's a good sport. Yeah, he is. He's on the level. Listen, there's a saying where I come from. Of the ain't... devil. Sorry. <laughs> if we ain't flipping your shit, you ain't family. So there. She gently sticks her tongue out at him. Blech. That's why mom beat dad of a frying pan that one time. No, that's just abuse, Sally. Oh. Wait, no, I need more that's context. That's just marriage. Wait, no, I need more context. Hold on, back up. <laughs> <laughs> she says not, she says backtracking thinking I've threatened Togo with at least, with the cast iron at least twice. Hold on, I need to fuck. <laughs> Wait, am I the problem? <laughs> Wait, am I the problem? <laughs> Sergeant Stuffy. Do we get time to eat before we get boots on the ground? Yes. <laughs> good. Because I doubt we're going to find a good ramen place here. Uh, am I like soup or something? That always is really good on a rainy day. I'm still stuck on Sergeant Duffy. <laughs> Sergeant Starchy. I heard, I heard food, and then I went, yeah. You know. Yeah, I, heard, I need blood. You know, I don't know if they have any ramen places, but I heard they have dumpling places that was run by somebody from the old country. Ooh. I've never had that. Chinese dumplings. Get uh -uh. back to Japan. I'll make you. I'll make you my daddy's recipe. As, uh, as you guys are discussing food, the train Emblem. comes to a stop. And the doors to your car open up. Allie grabs her bags. And about ten well-dressed people enter the train. Oh, they're, they're in well like dressed. they're like they're in like suits and ties. Ooh, the corpo suits. Yeah, they're in full corpo are they suits. Matching? They are matching. Uh, do they have wow. earpieces? Well, they do. I want to get a read on these people. <laughs> I think I know, but wow, that we wow, haven't done anything nice. yet. How are we in trouble already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a roll here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm nope, let Suyoi loose. I'm gonna, so do not I'm gonna do it. Thing that we can put or like blinds <laughs> we can pull down on the car. <laughs> I uh, we want our private time now. Thank you. I got a I got a thirteen on the survivor roll. Basically, just Sally's yeah. survival instinct kicking in. I'll let everyone else roll if they want a survival check and see uh, the vibes they get. I, I'm trying to read. Hey, I'm Sean. trying to read these goons' body language. That would be uh. Probably insight. perception or insight. Insight, yeah, insight. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, I'm you're, also you're... gonna on Sioi's uh, survival instincts. Fifteen. 
Are they, um... That's a block team. Are they blocking the exit? No, they're changing seats on the train. problem to me? Oh. Um, all right, so I'm going to go in order. Sally. These guys seem fairly harmless. They're just here to take the train. They're probably going to London like you guys are. So this isn't our stop. This is no. Our stop. Okay. Um, Jake, uh, Jeffrey, you are still hung up on Sergeant Stuffy. <laughs> Stuffy? What does she I, even mean? What? I, I, I don't stuff I anything. Teddy, I, I, don't, I just imagine a teddy bear with a little army hat. It's just Ted from <laughs> with the army hat. <laughs> not a fucking teddy bear, Jesus. Um, name's not Boyd. Nico. Mm. These are some very fancy individuals. They're clearly like some kind of team. They clearly work for the same place. Suyoi. These mm. people. Look like corpo goons. Very suit and tie, very, you know. They work in a CEO esque environment, right? Mm -hmm. You can smell the expensive wine on their breath. You can smell that they consist on wine and red meat at fancy restaurants. And you can tell that. Despite all that, you can smell that they're very clean. Like they are very used to working in very sterile environments. Mm. Mm. You know, out of curiosity, can Sally, uh, when she realizes this isn't her stop and she sits back down meekly and puts her bags on her lap, uh, can she... Uh, see their badges, like any work badges hanging off of their sides or around their neck or something. Uh, perception. Sweet. Gonna use a little bit of blood here for a D4. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call from someone at work. Give me a second. I got you. Uh, we'll help Sally perceive. Hold on. Never mind, Feng doesn't see shit. She's tired. I'm also going to roll a perceive. Fourteen. Oh, I'm back. Sorry. They were like, um, hey, what's the code to the dumpster? Because <laughs> I'm the one who, I'm the one who set the lock and set the code. <laughs> and I told a few people, but I didn't tell everyone. I see. I see. <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. Good luck, fuckers. 6969, click. Oh, I should That's not the right code. Um, okay. So the 25 perception, 11, okay. So. You guys. I would like to specify, I'm searching for a separate thing. I'm looking for weapons. Oh, yeah. The, D4, the D4, by the way, is guidance. Just, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I assumed as much. Actually, that's a, yeah. that's a good point, fucking... Nero, hey, can I use an actually? Can I use my quirk to check their body heat for cold spots that would identify weapons? Yeah. Where's my quirk? Quirk check. Hello, sweetie. Huh. So twenty-seven. There. In we go. order once again. Sally, you see that they have some badges on their lapels and on a lanyard around their necks, like access keys. Mm-hmm. Do they look? F uh, what does the logo look like? Anything? Uh, I, can maybe, I, I haven't designed a logo for them yet, so pretend there's one. Okay, okay. But you see it's like a like a pass, to, you know, like a scan pass. Mm-hmm. And it has uh, DNA ETRT on it. Does the logo off of what Jeff said look somewhat familiar? No. She'll look at the name and then uh, she'll kind of just glance up. Uh, Who's ever as close as Sally, she'll see her go, 
<sighs> and then just go ahead and just lay on her bag on her lap. And, uh, let's see. Sioi, you cannot see any weapons. Nico isn't here. <clears throat> yeah, she is. She's back. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, you're back. Okay, cool. Nico, what are you percepting for? Like, what are you perceiving? Is it weapons? Is it, like, discerning features? Mm. If you're out there, like, looking for something, like, actively looking for something. Like, are they scanning that crowd? Mm. Looking at faces? Like, are they perceiving, like, other people? They've paid you guys zero attention. Other than general? Nope, they're just kind of sitting there. <clears throat> they are, they're all kind of grouped in the back of the car together. Hmm. And then Fang. Mm -hmm. With a 27. You see uh, on their on their persons, there really aren't any cold spots other than like a wallet, a lanyard with a pass on it, mm -hmm. pens, wrap. A few of them have briefcases. And those are mm -hmm. just one big cold spot. Because they're briefcases. <laughs> right. So there's nothing you can really discern. Unlike, there's nothing on their person, if that's like the worry. Right. Um... Fang will just kind of, her eyes will kind of flick. They'll, they'll, they'll see her tongue, like, kind of poke out a little bit, do the snick tongue flick. And then she'll look at the, look up at everybody and gently shake her head. Like, it's fine. As her, like, as her pupils kind of fluctuate slightly. If Sally will, uh, Go ahead and flip to the page that's head D N A T R T E and then just elbow Jeff. And then just discreet uh, just discreetly look like she's like looking at the page too, but she's just tapping the word. In in Japanese, Jeff's gonna Take a look at the phone and then look at the other, look at the rest of the, the suits that boarded. Hmm. Would love that. I trust Corpos as far as I can throw them. Don't say that, she Jeff. Trust we can, don't say that, Jeff. We can throw them very far. She Sally. says in Japanese. Hell yeah, we can. Okay, let me rephrase that. I trust them as far as I can throw them without my quirk. Don't say that, Jeff. We can throw them really far. <laughs> yeah. You can. She, said, she says fist bumping, Nico. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sally goes ahead and just writes in Japanese in her notebook. They seem safe. And then she just goes ahead and taps it. <clears throat> mm. So I just staring at Jeff. Homie, what's your bench? Mine's like 500. <laughs> Only 500? I thought you'd have done better than that. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, Suyo is like, uh, 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 my, my war up's 500. Ha 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 just staring deadpan at Fang. I haven't been to the gym since the start of first year. I've been too busy dying. Ha 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 ha. Fang, who's, I've been doing nothing but the gym. It helps me cope. <laughs> <laughs> The pain. Sad fish bump with Fang. <laughs> I can go through walls now, so I assume my strength is still pretty. It's fine. Endurance we'll... is a hell of a drug, so you That's fine. We'll fucking we'll start a new routine when we get back, sweetie. I, I promise. Jeff. Yeah. I promise you. With my whole chest, I will outlast you. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 you guys, I might actually stop and go to bed. Just 
Just Sally, just Sally with her face in her bag. Boys, you're both beautiful. Stop fighting. Thank you, Sally. I um, work on my books every day. So suddenly, everything in the train goes dark. Uh, as you guys enter a tunnel. Oh, cool. What do I see? <laughs> I say with heat vision. As you guys are kind of like, oh, sh oh, right, tunnels exist. Right, that's what it is. Like, because most of you are a little conditioned to being like, oh, fuck, what the fuck? Hey, hey, Sean. I want everyone to roll me a wisdom save. Oh, fucker, I'm rolling a wisdom save and a stealth. Fuck you. We're in the dark. This is my home. Nat 20, 27. <laughs> Nat 20, 25. A high five. 16 on that stealth to become one with the wall. <laughs> 10. Jeffrey, my son, why are you failing me? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not even, I'm not I would even also like there. to point out, Sean, if this is anything offensive towards the party, alert applies. I know you have alert. It's okay. Not everything is dangerous, Jeffrey. No, that's not true. Uh, Everything is dangerous. This is Bears of the Torch. <laughs> Actually, uh, by the way, I'm obscured. Uh, so, fuck, fuck doing the stealth. I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> Fucking Sioi dives under the chair. <laughs> Mother, motherfucker, anything that comes at us is gonna have a bad day. With Head the down, same. ass up. <laughs> With the same. And that's the way we like to... Sorry. <laughs> no, no. With, with, no, with the save and everything, just Sally just groans after closing the book and just laying on her bag. So Sally is just like, it's just a tunnel. Um, uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey is, and, and Suyoi are both immediately like hands up, diving under chairs. They're ready for war. Oh, yeah. The moment the Things tunnel on hit, her feet. <laughs> Uh, the moment the tunnel hit, uh, Sally is, reaches in her shirt and she is just rubbing a locket like a worry stone. Like, everyone else is just like, all right, it's a tunnel, not a big deal. Those two are immediately just like, where's the danger? Yeah, no. <laughs> Fang is on her feet as soon as... No, Fang is on her feet as soon as the entire thing goes black. <clears throat> Fang is stanced. <laughs> But your nat 20 is like, oh, just a tunnel. Okay, whatever. Like, hey, I, hey, It's Sean. just a tunnel, but I'm focused. Hard focused on everything around me. Hey, Sean. Yeah. She always got sleeves on. Uh, while we're in the dark and I... Are you tearing your hidden. sleeves off? No. Uh, while we're in the dark and currently hidden, I'm putting my wrist shotgun on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As it is hidden underneath the sleeve. No one but I will know it is there. True. I fucking dare someone to cause a problem. That was from me. <laughs> I can't believe I'm using my nat 20 to kill God today. <laughs> so... As uh, you watch two of these, two of your party immediately go into fight or flight mode, the train leaves the tunnel and the light returns to the train. Sioi is fucking hidden, like not visible. <laughs> Jeff is going to try to recover. Jeff is going to try to recover and make things seem like he, he uh, had more of his cool than he did. PTSD is strong. What's the seating arrangements? Who's sitting where? I think I'm sitting next to Jeff and then Fang's to the left of me. Uh, I know Sioi I'm is... sitting... I know Sioi was next to Fang. Yeah, Sioi Alma... is next to Fang, although he's currently on the ceiling now. Oh, wait, oh, wait. And Nico uh, no, I think I'm sitting... I'm sit... <laughs> I, I think I'm sitting next to Nico. Nico or Fang. Nico's just leaning on him, on uh, Kaede, using him as a pillow. Our elbow rest. Squishy goop pillow. 
Oh, that sounds comfy, actually. So what I think was it is Fang sitting alone? No, I think Fang was next to Sioy. And Sioy's on the close roof. Enough, she's <laughs> she's close enough to fist bump Nico, and I think Rabbit said that Sally is like on her other side or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's like across from Fang. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Either way, Fang is still on her feet. Eyes open. <laughs> Sally just gives a sigh, and she's still idly rubbing her locket while looking out the window. No trust in the darkness. Darkness bad. I want Jeff, everyone uh, to roll me a perception. 21. 21. 21. 15. All right. Uh... <laughs> That's two in a row for Jeff, who, for the record, recovered like a boss with a 21 deception. Everyone except for Suyoi and Suyoi noticed that the seat that was once occupied by Suyoi has a man in a suit. Hmm. You see anything, Su- Oh, shit. Who invited the suit? Hi? Greetings, everyone. Who the, f who the fuck said you could sit next to me? She says in, she says in Eng American English. And this man responds in Japanese. I believe we are all looking for the same thing. I believe we could be of assistance to each other. Respectfully, sir. Jeff is responding in Japanese. We all just met. I don't think you know a damn thing about us. Well, the plane wreckage we recovered from the ocean definitely uh, tells a different story, as well as the remnants of a failed experiment gone awry. Yeah, that survivor rules when he says experiment. Yep. Sally, get behind me. Get behind me right now. I don't know what you're talking about. She lied as easily as she breathed. <laughs> the clenching uh, of fists, I guess, probably gives her away. Sally looks super worried at experiment and just... <laughs> I think just is holding her locket and also getting behind and kind of crouching a little bit behind uh, Jeff. The only thing I was looking for was a place to eat soon, but now I'm really looking forward to seeing the police. Well, what do you want, dude? I'm here extending an olive branch. As you can see, I have dismissed my colleagues, and you will notice that the entire train is empty, other than the group of you guys. I simply others? come bearing an offer. A gift, if you will. And he pulls what out a, like a jewelry box. And he looks at Feng. She has hard... She is hard locked on him. Basically, if he makes one shady move, she might start swinging. And when he opens the jewelry box, there's a bracelet inside. A silver bracelet. My boss saw your quirk, your natural abilities and he would like to gather combat data we know why you're here and we wish to capitalize and have a fruitful relationship between our company and you this bracelet, what company is that 
sir. DNA t- and he holds up his name tag. Mm. We're looking to put out a new drug, a pharmaceutical that helps mitigate destruct self-destructive side effects of quirks such as your friend here. This bracelet will help mitigate those side effects as well as record battle data. That way we can monitor your vitals, heart rate, brain activity. And it would give us a clear way to see what the internal changes are without having to do messier things with people who succumb to their quirks. Sean? Yeah. There is a click from the ceiling. He does not even look up at you. I'm going to suggest you close your box and The decision is Fangs, but I'm going to tell you right now, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Has this guy been looking at me, by the way? No, he's been looking at Fang exclusively. Oh, thank God. Okay. Hmm. Singling one of us out doesn't sound good or bode well. I want to roll insight on this guy first, real quick. Okay. 27. Um, you can gather he's being pretty genuine. He's offering you a way to mitigate the side effects of your quirks, such as the lowered brain activity, the decrease in intelligence, and the exhaustion that follows. And all they're asking for is the ability to monitor your vitals while you transform and shift. Hmm. Sean, I have a very specific question that I need to DM you about. By all means. While uh, she's typing at you, uh, Sally's going to peek out from behind Jeff. And it's not... It's nothing malicious. It's just biometric software? Exactly. (laughs) All we would be able to do is monitor and transmit data regarding the biometrics of your friend. And using that, we can alter our formulas to help people with quirks just like your friend. Instead of having to play trial and error by autopsying quirk users who have fallen to their mutations. She puts her locket back inside her shirt. Um, I, I'm in training to be kind of a support hero what's what's the mission of uh what what, what's the mission of your company i was looking you up on a billboard we want to bring quirks to the world although being quirkless is a dream long gone most people now these days are born with quirks some people wish they had quirks that were stronger or better or more capable Or they just want to see how it feels to be that number one hero for a day. We work in the business of wish and fantasy fulfillment. All of our clients are heavily vetted through psychological evaluations and constant monitoring. And each person is given a bracelet similar to this to monitor their mental state, their uh, vitals. Because not every quirk is compatible with every person. So we do our best to mitigate and control those drawbacks. And these quirks are ethically synthesized? Absolutely. Oh, God. Do you even know what my quirk is, sir? And he will put the box down and pull out his phone showing footage from a distance, of course, but... Shaky cam footage of Fang falling from the sky as a giant kaiju. And then it'll cut to a cross-reference of a kaiju battle in the city. (laughs) Maybe you're familiar with this game. 
<laughs> oh, of course. Listen, I would not be surprised that there's fucking news footage of large white snake destroys downtown Japan. <laughs> exactly. Hi, so you've I need seen the damn near real quick. <laughs> you so you've seen it, but you don't yeah. know what it is. Or necessarily how it affects me. That's why they I would never. Info. I would never. Ever. Give this quirk to someone else. Because they don't. Because they. No one else is built. To handle it. That's right. Abso absolutely not. I don't know you. You just. You. I don't know you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know you. I, I, I feel I feel like you've misunderstood me. We aren't looking to give your quirk to somebody else. We're looking to mitigate the side effects of quirks like yours. The mental, the physical, the emotional drawbacks and setbacks that using your quirk gives you. And how do you know it affects? My mental and emotional. When all you have is... She'll gesture, kind of... She'll kind of gesture standoffishly at his phone where the fucking footage was playing. How it affects that from news footage. Ma'am. Unless you've somehow gotten a hold of my medical records, which is... You asked? Pretty, pretty fucking illegal. You asked if I knew what your quirk was. You never asked how much I knew. All right. How much do you know? I know that even also now. Also, above game. In his defense, he sat down and you said, "Who the fuck said you can sit next to me?" <laughs> yeah. <like that?"> <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Fang doesn't trust strange adults. They're either out to hurt her or the party. <laughs> Ma'am. Nine nine out of ten she interactions agree. Fight us or kidnap us. Ah. Ma'am, I'm a farm. I work for a pharmaceutical company. I may not have access to your medical records, but I have access to the medical records of those who have fallen with similar quirks: the seizures, the brain damage, the exhaustion, the organ failure. Sounding familiar? Mm, not really. Hold on. Hold on. Damn it! <laughs> <clears throat> Sally is going to squeeze well, back behind Jeff. Sir. Oh, you got it. All right. It's all good. <laughs> I don't I'm know what be... you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about. Sir, I'm going to be entirely honest. And Sioy is going to drop down in front of him. I'm getting exhausted of hearing you talk. Now, I think you need to leave. That was perfect. <laughs> My medicine. <laughs> Thank Good. you, alarm telling me to take my meds. What a perfect fucking moment to go off. Take your will... What you... a good Let... alert for <laughs> right? taking your meds. <laughs> Med time. Memory spoken. The truth. Time to feel good. Ba -da -da -da. The truth no. goes unspoken. I've, I've even forgotten my meds. <laughs> We made the same joke! <laughs> That's Bob, Actually. the brain cell! Sean, I am gonna DM you something else here in a second after I make this statement. I thought we should, the brain cell. Why are you giving it to Sean? She's, uh... Temporary she's ownership. Fang's gonna pick up the bracelet <sighs> that he put down. That's a lease. Yeah. Clip it closed. Maybe I'll think about it. That's but all I for ask. Now, but for now... No. You got a number I can call in case I change my mind? My dear, we'll always be in touch. And, and open the door. he vanishes into a puff of gray, wispy smoke. Damn it. Sui's fist unclenches and there is a second click. So you know, that better not be your that better not be your wrist shotgun. <laughs> Feng is going to kind of curl her curl her lip a little bit. I hate it when adults call me my dear. Jeff, my dearest Jeff. 
Jeffrey Blake, even. You're lucky I didn't cleave that man in half with my sword in public. Yeah, like how we're how we're just as lucky that you punched all those people out in two cars back? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Sue is just going to side stare at him. Dear God, oh, I think that. they took my legs! <laughs> <laughs> that... Ah, I just <laughs> wanted to know where the food cart was! <laughs> <laughs> That oh my, I thought that was a fucking lip at first. I didn't think he was doing that live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing, Sean. You talked about the experiment on the plane. What, what, what was that? Grab the dude bailed on us. Oh. You so you always threatened him? him. <laughs> so you always threatened him with a gun? <laughs> oh, he's already gone? Yeah. 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 Oh shit. You know, I go to the bathroom real quick. And I come back. <laughs> oh. oh well. Has anyone found my team? I'm missing <laughs> like four of them. Should Sally. I fix that? Sally. Yeah. Sally. Yeah. I'd like another hit of that. You make my anger go away. Yeah. Before I go resolve that. Crying person. I can fix Please them don't up. secure that crying person. You're not gonna secure that crying person. I was trained in medicine, so I'll do it. Can someone tell my wife I love her? Tell just, my wife I said hello. Just ev everyone said I I gotta think, okay? Okay. Wake me up one yeah. Sio is just going to fucking sit down next to Fang and close his eyes. And Sally will. Sally's eyes will turn red irises for a minute and she'll just shake her head and they're green again. And then she'll rummage through her bag and grab her medical supplies. I'm on the way! I'm gonna tag along to make sure. Sh make sure nothing else. Nothing happens to us. Alright. Oh. She might need an extra set of hands. Who knows? Later, hey. Private Press. Your leg. Did you say four teeth are missing? Tell your wife. I'll pick her up at eight. Four, four whole teeth. Just that. Don't worry. Nurse Remedy's on the way. <laughs> Feng is still standing there, kind of looking at. She reopens the bracelet box, and she's obviously kind of scanning it over. And you just see her kind of lick her upper lip a little bit. I'm gonna have some calls to Mike later. And she'll clip it closed and put it in her pocket. I don't trust that guy. Good. Nope. Because he said something that bugs me. He said he said that he has autopsy results, right? Yeah. If he's on our if he's on our side, why didn't he offer them? Exactly. Scummy fucks. So <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hmm. You did not just say if they have aut if they have medical records of people they've autopsied, why didn't they share them with us after being like, you wouldn't have I thought my he medical records, which would be illegal. <laughs> well, no, I he I thought he was talking about the uh the quote failed experiment. No, he said the, he has the autopsies of quirk users of mutation just like uh, Fang. Oh, well then I misunderstood. No worries. I maintain the statement that he's a scummy fuck. Corpo bastard. Yeah, well, we'll see. And I'll just keep this on my person for now. But I ain't putting it on. And she'll... 
and she'll kind of just sit back down. She'll open her phone. And just kind of gently start tippy typing. Cool. Eventually, you guys make it to, in fact, London. How would you like to exit the train? Normally. I'm just going to walk off the train. So you, bag you in do, hand. You don't do anything normally. No, that's why I'm doing it normally this time. <laughs> you Jeff will probably be one of the last people out of the out of that back car before uh alongside Sally. Um Let's go get this hotel. Sally's, if... Sally's patting off everybody and then going, okay, you should be good to go. Be safe traveling. Okay, you're good to go. Be safe traveling. <laughs> okay, you're good to go. Be safe traveling. <laughs> uh, if the leg gives you any trouble, um, go see your doctor. Just remember, you didn't see us as Jeff... <laughs> As Jeff pulls out uh, a couple, uh, a few, basically like 50, 50 pound bills. <laughs> Bribery. Is anyone going to perceive Jeffrey Blake? No oh, voice. Of course I perceive. Of course I perceive. Hold on. Let me perceive. Yep. Totally perceived. You pull out, you pull out the money before you can hand it to him. Sally's going to like elbow you in the gut. And it's like. A lot harder than somebody her size should be able to do. And then she goes, oh, that guy, what a kidder, isn't he? All right, have fun, everybody. Let's go. One, two, one, two, <laughs> one, two, one, two. <laughs> In Japanese, she looks back to him. I fixed literally every wound they had and even wounds they woke up with. <laughs> they are not going to snitch on us. Zero chance. <laughs> see that guy? We pointed the one who was screaming about teeth. That guy had rheumatism. He doesn't have that anymore. She even fixed my nicotine addiction. God, I've never felt better. I'm gonna go see my wife and kids. Sally is just giving like the Sally is giving like the close eyes cute smile and then just happily waving everyone out going one by one by one. Hey, that weird lump on my neck is gone too. Almost we need more people cancer. in the world like you, Sally. <laughs> the snort, I Is snorted. It... Oh, one that's moment. A... You know what? That's actually very sweet of you to say. Yep, one step, ma'am. One step. You know me. I always just go ahead and try to my best to make sure everybody's fixed up when everyone's out of the plane. She grabs Jeff by the coat. I need blood really fucking bad. One Allie, moment. Come here. Not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Fang will Fang will kind of stop mm. and be like, round two. She says, holding out her hand. <laughs> Sally's oh, like, God. Sally's like, mm. oh, 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 God! It's like picking what I like at a fount at, at a soda fountain. <laughs> it's like picking out what I like at a buffet. She scans the party in with great interest. <laughs> just, just looking over, going, "Oh, if I could drink that one." Just looks at Kaede and just her fangs pop out like, "Ah, there we <laughs> to go." To drink the slime. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to grab something real quick. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, rabbit. Yeah. DMing you. Oh boy, my big man. I just need names. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Oh, on the reply. Oh, oh. Okay. Please and thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank I you, got... my big boy, my sweet man. Okay, big strong man. Big, big strong, strong man. man. Uh, I got all of these, so let me just go ahead and just shoot them all off to you one by one, and I'll 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 do that real quick. Please do. No problem, big man. Meanwhile, uh, <clears throat> can everyone else talk to each other about how much they enjoyed their train ride and their not freaky uh, pharmaceutical endeavors? There's a weird so, pharmacist in a suit, and I don't know what his issue was. I mean, honestly, considering what my quirk is, it does. I can only assume something nefarious if he wants to take a peek at it. We have. Oma, how confident are you in potentially examining yeah, that? I understand, but a pharmacist? Like, I don't know. Uh, less confident here or in a hotel room than I would be back at campus. I see. So, don't, don't on a worry scale to one to ten. Right now, maybe like a five, six. Just don't worry about it right now. For now, Jeff. Might have somebody I can call. Leave it at the hotel room. Uh, if, they can, if it can transmit data from where it's at, then that means they can get our location. Well, yeah. I don't want them knowing that. I mean, if it says what it's supposed to, if he, if what he says is true, hmm. Then it might not even activate until it makes contact with skin. So, if only I'll we could store it in Kaede. No, God, no. If anything, it would just read Kaede's quirk. Well, I meant in the box. Yeah, but I still wouldn't. I don't want to put Kaede at that kind of risk either. Most of these, she's gonna, as, as she's saying this as they're walking. Most of these kind of places have like, I don't know if they're like ones back home, but a lot of these fancier hotel rooms have, like, safes and shit. We can probably just put it in the safe and lock it while we're out and about. And she she looks, she kind of squints a little bit as she kind of puts her hand on the, like, she puts her hand in her pocket and on the box. You guys can hear her, her nails gently wrapping against it as she's thinking. Okay. So as you uh, <laughs> as you guys oh, sorry. no you're right as you guys make your way to the hotel, um, you hear a scream come from an alleyway. Uh, Sally will look towards that very quickly. Mm -hmm. What do I roll? Perception? Perceptus. Okay, Perceptus. D4, heightened senses. We're afraid, but 17. Hey, me too. Same number, buddies. 19. I'm trying to get an image for what you're going to see. Ah, oh, there they are. Seven. You see a hulking creature. Definitely not friendly, right? And you see that there is a man pinned to the wall uh, with what looks to be a blade in his stomach. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I am immediately going to run towards the danger and basically just summon, uh, just pull my bat out of my bag and just run. Hey, Sean, how big is this guy? Uh, like how tall? About 12 feet. Ah, uh, okay. 
Fang will charge after behind Telego. Hey, fuck face! <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna feed on that one. And then, uh, she is going to, uh, take her finger and nick her neck and basically just have blood trickle down and start forming her hair outfit. She just and rips off her scrunchie. What you see basically looks like this. Oh, cool. Oh, hell yeah! I don't know what that is. I know what that is. Smilers. Hey, hey, Sean. Quick question about the game. When are you and Bev going to stop using League images for <laughs> your hey, fucking... Hey, can you suck my whole dick? <laughs> Don't blame him for consuming media, Tart. <laughs> blame him for the lack of diversity of media he consumes. <sighs> you know, I just made a... Uh... My brain cell has just realized, you know, we should probably have him identify himself before I'd start swinging. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey! What are you doing to that guy? She says not going quirk form yet. He... <clears throat> the creature kind of looks... Well... Its head kind of turns in an unnatural angle. And you see that there's, like, behind the, like, the visor. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's Dude. nothing going on up there. And you just kind of hear a... Oh, I see. Hey. I'm just gonna put my gear... Alright, time to... I guess it's time to suit up, and Jeff is gonna... Jeff is, having followed those two, is going to just hit his... hit his belt buckle, as you are going to see filaments of fiber all... all cover his suit in jet black, and carbon fiber plates that seemingly come out of nowhere. Let's fucking... I can't stand this shit. Jeff is going to proceed to move to attack. S.U.I. slams into his fucking uniform and grabs his sword. Let's go. Uh, Sally's You're close, Amanda. That's Oma, not Jeff. <laughs> uh, Sally's outfit, when she rips off her scrunchy, uh, scrunchy she scratches her neck, uh, blood pulls out, and forms over her shoulders. And it is a black suit with little uh, armor on the legs and the arms. And a big white tabard out of red crosses as she kind of holds her bat low to the ground. Not wait like a bat, but like a sword? Mm. But not sword. like, but not like how Siyoi would hold a sword or anything. Nothing like samurai. So much for incognito. No one's dying on my watch. <sighs> Sean, how far away is this thing from me? About 30 feet. No, it fucking isn't. Pfft. Uh, I guess it isn't, uh, gamers. No, it fucking isn't. I'm kinetic step. Uh, so yeah, I'm at this thing now. Just a quick blitz in. Um... Are we getting a surprise round, or do you want us to roll initiatives here, Jonathan? Well, uh, you did announce your presence. And it did click, uh, and it did click in a weird way. The closest individuals for- now, now we're getting into- since we're considering initiatives. Uh, let me make sure that this is the right feature. I would love to- have the turn order work for once. It's gonna be uh, the two closest to Jeff in this in this uh, for this per for the purposes of this uh, would be 
Sally and Fung. God damn it! Why didn't it? I got a twenty-two. It didn't pop up. Sean, the yeah, initiative count doesn't work on there because we don't have a tokens, tokens on out. The screen. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that part out because I need more maps. Um, I can help you make maps. Um, I love Sims. Wait, hold on. Let me test something really quick. Hold on, can I do this? There we go. <laughs> there, I am now on the turn order, and we can just pretend. There. Uh, Sally, uh, I, I already rolled. Myself on the map. I already rolled Sally's initiative. Yes, yeah, I'm. See, I got. Um, I wonder if I can just do another roll and then just put the number I rolled first. Can you drag your token to there again? Um, click on the book where it says characters, grab your name, Sick. and then drag it to the map. Sean, do you want me to roll again now that there's a token to attach to Uh, it, yeah, please. Okay. Um, Sally and Feng get to roll an extra d6 per Jeff's, uh, call to arms. Alright, hang on. Oh, do sweet. I not also count as y'all are, like, right next to you? Each other? Dude, you, homie, you cleared, yeah, good you cleared, uh, you cleared the ten foot. Good point. My original one was. Uh, Jeff's is now total of total of twelve. My one was See, it was strange. You roll what now? One d six. One d six, and you add that to your initiative score. All right, d six. So it would be twenty three. There we go. Love that I'm at the front of the pack, but go last. <laughs> Listen, you had to skid to a stop, and you skidded a little too far. Skirt! Skirt, skirt! So, you, uh... How are we going to do this? Let's see, I gotta roll my initiative as well. And then manually add it because life is awful for me. <laughs> Who's laughing over there? I wasn't laughing. Sorry, I was taking a anxiety breath. Sorry. Oh, that's, that's yeah. okay. You, Sean, you Sorry, should be my... able to add. Uh, you should be able to add a add an extra like entry to this. Yeah. Sorry, these meds have me like amped up to like eleven all the time. It's really annoying. <laughs> there we go. We are now in order. Fantastic. So leading the pack, initiative-wise, will be Feng. Eh, sorry, husband came home. Um, well, Feng is... Since this guy is fucking huge, uh, Feng will also become fucking huge. And she will go full cor- uh... Full snake size. And... We will rock his shit. We'll do... Four flurry of blows, let's go. Damn it, ten. Oh wait. I can't remember. Do I get advantage? No, I don't. So I'm 14 and 15. Two of those hit. Alright. Which one? The 17 and the 15, I assume? Yes. Alright, then it is 7, 6, so 11 damage. No. Yes. 13. 13 damage so far. And she is going to... Basically, she's she's moving in a circle so that he turns his back to the rest of the party. Mm. She, she's kiting him, basically. She's kiting, uh, kiting, I'm kiting. Yeah. You, listen, I'm an old WoW Raider. I know what to do as a tank. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, ba so she's basically trying to, as she's hitting him, she's snaking around so that the majority of her body is in the alleyway and not obstructing the rest of the, the, rest of the party so that he hard focuses on her. Mm-hmm. 
and potentially gives everyone else a murder sandwich. <laughs> all right, then. Is that your turn? Uh, that's all I can do. Unless you'll let me roll to intimidate him. <laughs> no. No, I didn't think so. But yep, that's it for me. All right, Alma. Bam. Bam. <laughs> bang, bang. Right. That one's probably going to hit Fang. The, the yeah, it is. All, 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 keep in mind, since you're a blood quirk user, you also get uh, Sally's little thing, too. Hey, keep in mind, I'm also right there, too. Uh, It's this. Yeah, but it's funny. Listen, hitting Suyo is like a national pastime. So you have so you have the bless spell. I have the bless spell, and then uh, Suyo also has the uh, bless spell. I don't think the bless spell will help me with the nat one, but I appreciate it nonetheless. <laughs> no, <laughs> just no. I just I just saw you go bang, and I was like, oh, we haven't fought in a while. Let me tell you what I can bring to the table. All right, great. Three damage to the thing, three to Fang. All right. <laughs> Fang opens her mouth to fight, and then suddenly, <laughs> zip zip. Turn. All right, next will be Rab. Two, three. Sally will go ahead and run to the other side of the creature, uh, and then just like, go ahead. Like you're gonna and... pass it? No, like, like Fang's on one side of it, and I'm on the other side of it. Okay. Like I think the monster is right here, and what he means is that Sally is like right here. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Like, hold on. Where is the... Where is a, this? Monster is here. <laughs> Basically. So I am here. Uh, and then... Uh, and then, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, swing uh, my bat at it. All right. Swing it. All right. Plus four with the bless bow. That will hit. All right, sweet. Let's roll damage. <laughs> All right. That is 14 necrotic. Uh, there's also another thing that I do with it uh, called uh, singing the strikes, uh, which causes an extra 1d8 necro whenever I go ahead and hit something. Uh, so that's five. So that's 19 necro. Uh, she just goes ahead and just uh, holds it behind her and then just quick as a whip she just swings the bat horizontally and there is just this blade of just bloody crystals that just shoots out of the thing and cuts into it uh -huh, uh -huh. will that be your turn I gotta see whether or not Sally gets two attacks or one I think being a Claire she gets one just a second. I honestly don't remember yeah because I can remember that I... Nero, you've let Honey hit more than once, right? I have no idea. I don't remember. It's the it's the type of it's the type of cleric. I don't I don't see an extra attack on here, so okay. I think that's uh, I think that's all Sally can do. I, I'm guessing because since ter clerics typically do like mace and shield, it's yeah, swing swing with one hand, so it's one hit. Yeah, she sings with two hand though. The shield's a part of her. Fair. All well, right. I mean, I think mechanically that's how it's supposed to work. Right, right. My shield is my platelets. <laughs> Platelet map. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the end of the that's the end of the turn there. Okie dokie. Nico. Since we're in a pretty confined space of a train, still, right? No, we're in an alleyway. Bitch, That's we've been off the train. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Sorry. I got pulled away for some things. No, you're good. Um, I think I'm going to take advantage of finally being free from the tube. I'm not going to lie. I've just been using these lines here as, like, markers for how wide the alleyway is. Yeah. Here, I'll make life uh, even easier if you give me a moment. Go for it. I'm just doing a little janky mappy thing here. Oh, Pog. Frog. Oh no, the turn order is gone. No, it's not. It is on my screen. 
Oh, it is on mine too. I have it. What? You have it on yours on the GM side. That's uh, what happens when you swap maps. That's a roll twenty thing. Oh well, it's currently Nico's turn. Uh, Nico will sprout some wings. Probably use about 10, 15 feet of her fly speed. And if you'll let her. I probably will. Use her two attacks uh, to shoot uh, porcupine quills at the piping. But use but uh, iron ones. Iron porcupine quills. Oh, okay. Oh, that's too big. Hold on. Oh, no, that that's probably and, right, uh, right? Uh, a... Jake, yeah. is that correct? Yeah. Hmm? In what correct? respect? Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, two, yeah. two square, two square by two square. Okay, thank you. Okay, so he's okay, so he's facing this. So I have to be for mine. Okay, right. I fixed it. All right, so Nico, how would you like to fuck his life up? With the iron quills, I don't know what kind of roll is that. Uh, probably quirk. And then it'd be a regular attack with piercing. Twelve? Yep, so that's you forming the quills, and now you just gotta roll an unarmed strike. Twenty-one hit? That hits. Using the unarmed strike damage, uh, six. Alright, he is currently um, bleeding profusely. And he is a little panicked. You can see it that he's uh, in an animalistic sense of like fight or flight, and he's unsure what he wants to do. Jeffrey. I'm up. Yep. Dope. Uh yeah, no, we're we're going with a friction bolt on this fucker from distance. <laughs> Twenty one music is so chill. <laughs> I'm assuming it's twenty one hits, right? Yes. Uh how's for eight thunder damage? Okay. And is that everything yet? I got one more in you. Um that's one that's can that's action can trip. And let's see, do I have any bonus actions off cuff? Uh gonna I'm gonna pop repulsion field. Oakley to Oakley. And that's gonna be D ten plus con. Hmm. Modifiers too lovely. All of four temp HP, love it, love it to death. Love it. Next will be Suyas. <coughs> Who? You. Suyoy. Yeah, pretty sure that thing's a higher on the initiative order than me. We, it was higher than he Jeff already as well. went. Oh, <laughs> Jake, you have to be on the other side. I'm at the back of the alley. Wow. There you go. In that case, um, <laughs> here's the first swing. Sixteen. That'll hit. Sword. Uh, that's uh sixteen bludgeoning. Okay. And the second hit there. Uh, this thing's flanked right now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. You also get a D4. Murder sandwich. Uh, so that's a it. Blood 18. Porch. 19 that, to hit. Yep, that'll hit. Uh, and that's 13 uh, bludgeoning. Wonderful. So as you drive the... Uh, the blunt end of your sword, right, into its face, I'm assuming. 
-hmm. it cracks as the thing panics and goes to reach for its own face, driving its blades through the glass. Duh. Mm. And a black liquid begins to pour from inside the uh, creature. Oh, I want to drink that last. And it is soaking the floor. There is far more blood or liquid than should be in a person. I'm getting the impaled man away, and I'm going to try to peel him. It doesn't work. Huh? And hold on. I have to do one of these. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Fuck my life. And... What the hell? Allow me to just do a thing. This is like elevator lo-fi crash bandicoot. <laughs> As we get... Oh. Boom. As from the tar-like substance, eight more rise up. And they are a little bit smaller. They're about people-sized, this go-around. And they look exactly identical to the creature you have just slain. Sally goes ahead and looks toward the one next to Nico, and then just holds up her sword in a defensive stance. And that is where we are going to end for tonight. Huzzah! It's been a long time since I've given y'all combat. I that know. Meant Sally's, something. Sally's <laughs> built for it. She is neurotic socially. She is very excelled at killing. We're built different. So no, I was uh, no, I was built in a lab. I was built. Did we just very kill different. a mama and now the babies are angry. Oh shit! With that, we're gonna start with Tart. Hello. Yes. Thank you. I I do need to go to bed like at this very moment. Uh, hi. I'm Tart. Uh, I played the lesbian. Uh. <laughs> Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash fartart. I've got uh, a new model debuting on the 22nd. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Pride Month. Uh, I got a new model debuting on the 22nd. It's going to be part of a subathon. Um, there's stuff on my Twitter about it. Uh, sorry, sorry. My, uh, my, my ex profile. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got to go to bed. Goodbye. All right. Uh, punk. LGBTQ, coming after you. Gonna stop <laughs> in your movies. See, it's on the news. Mess of W's. LGBTQ. Sorry. <laughs> that was dead. perfectly timed. He's dead now. <laughs> and that's Nico, everyone. <laughs> that's Nico, what's up? You can find me on Twitch, Blue Sky, Twitter, sometimes uh, TikTok and Instagram. Goodbye. Next is Nero. Hello, everybody. I'm Nero. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Nero Napier. I played COA tonight, and I'm going to make the, uh, whatever the fuck this thing is, regret being created. Where can they find you? I already said that. Twitch.tv slash Nero Napier. I said that. It's one of the first things I said. I didn't hear it, but I'll believe you. Uh, Jakels. Uh, hello, everyone. I am the Internet Temple Jake. You can find me on Twitch, YouTube, Blue Sky, and just about every other social media platform at LeJake. Um, Sundays, weekend capstone cartography. Tuesdays, whether on my channel or on Tarts, I run D and D games. It's a good time. Who are we? Who, have, who hadn't gone? Manda, Rablonius, have you gone? Manda and Rabbit. Rablonius, go. Okay, hey, how you doing? 
I'm Rabbit. I play Sally, a bioweapon. You can find me on twitch.tv slash heymrrabbit. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and I play horror games, RPGs, and retro games. It's things like Resident Evil and RuneScape. Other games that start with R, you decide. Uh, I'm doing a donut on my channel so I can live in my apartment. That's me. Amanda. Amanda. Hello, I am Amanda. I play Fang, a party, party snake. Um, you can find me here every other Wednesday. You can find me here every Saturday for the game that Bev runs, the straight out of the straight out of Capella. And you can find me over at Nero Napier's channel uh, every other Sunday for the nightmares we undo, and sometimes on Tuesdays where we do Skies of Arcadia. You, Jonathan, go. And I'm your lovely host, ProcyonRexVT. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Blue Sky, uh, TikTok, and many other social medias. Uh, I have been working a lot, and therefore I can't even say that I'm like streaming other than like my normal stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get back to a schedule soon. I just am the closing manager, and I have to manage my closings, and it's very exhausting because I work with children. Other than that, I will see you all fairly soon. We're going to go raid my good buddy, Austin. Also known as Austin Lee Matthews, a cool voice actor. Also known as Roche in Final Fantasy VII. So, Hog. let's go raid them. Everyone just say, uh, stinky. <laughs>